Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export animated HTML banners uh, from Figma to Google Ads. So the way we're going to do this is by installing a plugin uh, called Bannerify. So if you haven't already got it installed, we can go to the top toolbar and click on the Figma icon. And if you go to the community uh, area and use the search bar to type in Bannerify, so that's B A N N. E R I F Y and then click on the plugins tab and you'll see this result Bannerify HTML exporter uh, pop right up. Uh, so if you haven't already installed it you can click on the install button. Mine is already installed and that's why it's got this little check, check mark uh, but if yours just says install you'll be able to click on install and that will change it to look like mine. Uh, once you've already installed it you can jump back into your uh, project uh, in my case, I'm using the sample file that can be found in the additional notes section down here. Uh, so if you go to the Bannerify plugin details area and go to additional notes, there's a link here that you can use. So if you put this into your web browser, uh, it will open up the Figma file that I'm going to be using in the tutorial and you can duplicate that file to your own Figma uh, account and you can use that to follow along. Okay, so back in our project, uh, what we want to do is right click anywhere on the page, go down to plugins, and then click on Bannerify HTML exporter. And that's going to fire up the plugin that we just installed. And you can see here that uh, it's loaded up some banners that we've already got in our project here. Uh, and because we're using the project that's already been set up, uh, we've already got some animations attributed to each of the layers on each frame. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do all that in this tutorial. I've got another tutorial on the YouTube page on the Figmatic YouTube channel uh, which goes for about 40 minutes and you can check that out if you want to have a really in-depth breakdown of how to go through and apply all these animations uh, really easily. Uh, so I'm not going to cover that here but you can see here we've got some animations set up and all we want to do is uh, export them so we can get them into a format that we, we need, uh, which in this case is going to be Google Ads. Okay, so to export these banners, we can click on the Export Banners to HTML button in the top right-hand side of the plugin. So I'll click on that. And you can see we've got a bunch of options here. Uh, we can do a whole bunch of things, but uh, as with the other... Uh, point on the animations. I'm just going to focus on this area down here, which is uh, code output settings. Uh, at the moment, we've got it set to vanilla HTML and JavaScript. Uh, however, because we want to export this from Figma to Google Ads, uh, we're going to click on the drop down here, and instead of selecting one from the standard group uh, at the top, which are all the vanilla options that don't come with any uh, additional code. Uh, we're going to scroll down and there's a second section called Advertising Platforms. And you've got a list of a whole bunch of platforms here. Uh, but the one we're after is right up on top, which is Google Ads. Uh, so if we click on Google Ads, uh, you can see here that it's, it's uh, selected that for us. And you might have noticed that one of the other fields has disappeared. So if we click on the se selection we had a second ago, uh, you can see that we've got the banner link URL here. Uh, so if you put a link in there, that'll that'll open up the uh, the link whenever you click on the banner. But you might notice that when we click on Google Ads, uh, that option disappears. And the reason for that is uh, you actually associate the URL for the Google Ad inside the Google Ads interface. Um, you don't have to preset it um, in the code itself but it's going to include some click tags that are going to allow the Google Ads uh, UI to actually hook into that, which we'll see in a second. So now that we've selected Google Ads from the advertising platforms, uh, this is going to export from Figma to the Google Ads format that we need. Uh, so all we need to do is click on Export Banners in the bottom right here. So I'm going to click on that. And it's generating all the code for us, exporting all the images for us automatically. And, uh, and that's all done. So it's, it's very, very quick. It only takes uh, a couple of seconds. And if I open up the zip file just by double-clicking on it, uh, that's going to reveal 
all of the banners that we've got here. So you can see that uh, these all match up with the banners that we've got on the left hand side in Figma and it automatically prepends the dimensions and then it uses the frame name uh, to also give a, a bit of a label to each folder. So the easiest way to see an overview of all of our banners to make sure that they're all looking the way we want uh, is just by clicking on the index.html file. So that's loaded up the index.html file and you can see here we've got all of our banners uh, from Figma. So uh, you can click this little play button in the top right to uh, replay them if you want to keep having a look at them. Uh, and this is also responsive, so if you need to uh, use this on different screen sizes, the banners will automatically uh, readjust if you're sending this to a client or just reviewing it internally. And uh, and so yeah, you can see here that we've got uh, all of our all of our banners. Uh, if I open up the console and go to console and just refresh the page. Uh, you can see here if I uh, click on one of these, so I'm just going to get out of that. Okay, so now that we've got all of our banners that the way that we want them, uh, let's just take a look at the code that it's generated for us as well. So I'm just going to open up my code editor. Uh, in this case, it's just Visual Studio, but you can use whatever you like. And I'm just going to open up the uh, MREC, medium rectangle. And I'll open, open that up in the browser as well. And you can see here it's it's opened up the, the single banner. And if I inspect the code in my code editor, uh, you can see here that it's automatically generated all the code for me. It's got uh, the, the meta data for the ad. It's got all of the HTML for the ad, um, all of the images uh, with the alt text and the CSS, which handles all of the animation and positioning, it's automatically uh, been generated for us. And then uh, the other neat thing is that we've got uh, a JavaScript file, which automatically um, uh, includes all of the stuff to detect when the images are loaded. So it'll only show them when they're actually loaded in. Uh, so that includes everything that we need to upload this to, um, to Google Ads. And we can actually validate that by going to the um, Google Ads uh, validator. So I'll go to that now. Okay, so I'm in the HTML5 validator, which is a tool that Google offers uh, that allows you to validate your ads or your creatives before they actually kind of go into production, just to make sure the code and the, uh, the structure is all valid. Uh, so what I need to do to zip that up uh, is just highlight all of the files and click on compress and after I've done that I can click on upload click on the zip file that we just made and this is going to uh, upload all of the files to this validation service uh, it does tend to be a little bit slow I've noticed so uh, we'll just wait for that to, to finish Uh, if you do need to get to this page, by the way, you can just search for HTML5 validator uh, and Google Ads and that'll that'll show up. Okay, so it's finished uploading and you can see here it's provided this long checklist of all the different things that it's checking for and uh, it looks really nice because we've got checkboxes from, from zero to, to the end, uh, which is really cool. And then here we can just click on this little icon uh, which will load in a preview if we want to have a look at that uh, as well. So that'll, that'll show us the preview, uh, which will load in a second. Uh, and if we click on that, uh, you can see here that it says uh, your click was successful and should track uh, correctly. Um, so all you need to do is include a click tag or a click URL on that once you've uploaded it, um, and that should should work just fine. Okay, so that's, uh, that's all validated, that's all working as expected. And, uh, and we've got all of our banner sets, we don't have to test all of them, all of the code uh, gets exported in the exact, exact same way. Uh, so if one works, they're, they're all going to work. And, uh, and this, is all, this is all built into Bannerify, so you don't actually have to 
to worry about this, but um, I just wanted to show you that, that it is actually all validated uh, for Google Ads. Uh, yep, so that's, that's essentially it. Uh, you don't need to do anything else. Those are production ready. Um, of course, you've got all the code there if you do want to make any changes or uh, manually tweak anything yourself in code. Um, but the idea is that you can export production ready banners from Figma to uh, HTML uh, for Google Ads and that'll just work straight away. You don't have to do any extra steps. Uh, you don't even need to know how to code. Uh, you don't need any developers on the team. You can just do it all uh, directly from Figma, go straight from Figma to HTML, and uh, Google Ads will will pick up on all of that, and it'll it'll all be valid. Um, so yeah, I hope that's been a helpful tutorial for anyone who's uh, searching for how to do this, and um, you know was was wondering if you could do this from Figma. Uh, the answer is yes, but uh, you just need to install the Bannerify plugin uh, to make it happen. And uh, and that'll that'll get you from Figma uh, to your your Google Ads HTML banners with no issues. Okay, uh, thank you as always for watching. And uh, until the next one, I hope you can use this in your own projects uh, or share it with your team. And uh, we'll be back very soon for more tutorials just like this.